Hello scholars and welcome to third grade math. I'm so excited to be here with you today talking about four digit numbers. So if you looked through the PowerPoint at all or just a little bit, you probably noticed that there are many different ways to use a place value chart. So a place value chart looks like this. You can draw one on your marker board or whiteboard and it would be really useful for today's lesson. So I drew one out on my whiteboard as well. I printed this one off just to show you guys one version or another version of a place value chart where they use base 10 blocks. So in a base 10 block place value chart, all ones look like that little cube. Tens look like that bar of cubes. Hundreds look like that block of cubes. And thousands look like that big cube of cubes, okay? If you know anything about Mrs. Halverson or you learn anything about Mrs. Halverson this year, you're gonna learn that she is not perfect and that I am really not a good drawer. So if I were to take my markers and draw out all the ones, the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands, it would take a really long time. And here's a hint about mathematicians. Mathematicians like to be quick. They like to get to the point and get to the answer. So today, instead of using base 10 blocks, I'm gonna use different colors to represent the different place values. So today, my ones are gonna be blue. My tens are gonna be purple. My hundreds are gonna be pink. And my thousands are going to be red. So if you're like me and you like a lot of color in your life, maybe you can do that on your place value chart as well. Okay, so we're gonna start off with in the ones place. If I have, you can choose whatever shape you want as long as it's easy to draw. One, two. What number is that? That's right, it's six. We have six ones. Okay, now something that's so important, if you take one thing away from this lesson today, is that you know that only one digit can go in each place value. A digit is a number of one through nine, not 10, because 10 has two digits. If we write 10 here, we see that it has one, two digits, okay? And that's not gonna work in our base 10, I mean, excuse me, in our place value chart, okay? So the tricky question is, well, Ms. Halverson, what happens if we have 10? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. What if we have 10? If we have 10, then we need to exchange them for 110. So my 10s are purple, remember? So if we put 110 in here, in the tens place, we have to erase all of the ten, all of the ones, right? And now we have a number. We have a two-digit number. We have a one in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. So that means we have 10. Okay, are you with me so far? Great. So how would we, how would we write this number? 300 and two. How would we get that into our place value chart? Well, if it were me, I would always start with the ones just because that's what I'm used to in math, right? So I'm gonna start with the ones. I have one, two, ones. So I'm gonna put two blue circles in the ones. I have zero tens. So I'm gonna leave that one blank because zero means nothing. Well, it does mean something, but in this case, it means leave the tens blank, okay? And we have a 300 
three in the hundreds place, excuse me. And then we draw one, two, three. So now we have 302. Okay, now I'm gonna challenge you to draw on your place value charts a three digit number, okay? All right, so scholars, when I write the number, I want you to pause this video on your device and draw this number on your place value chart, okay? So the number we're gonna draw is 536. Go ahead, pause the video and draw 536 into your place value chart. All right, welcome back scholars. I hope that you had enough time to write 536 in our place in your place value chart. So again, I start with the ones. 1 2 3 4 5 6. Good. Now we have 3 tens or 30. So we're going to draw 3 tens in the tens place. And then we have five hundreds. So I'm gonna need five pink bubbles, okay? So now we have 536. Very good. Now, I'm gonna test you guys with a four digit number and then we're gonna do something a little bit differently, okay? So how would you draw? So we get a four digit number this time. So that means that we're gonna need this thousands place, okay? Let's see what number. Hmm, how about 4,007D6? 4,007D6. Go ahead, pause your device, and write 4,076 in your tens and ones place value chart. All right, scholars, welcome back. I, sh I hope you have a lot of dots or shapes on your whiteboard um, to represent 476. So if it were me, we start in the ones. We have a six in the ones place, so we have six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a seven in the tens place, so we need seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have a zero in the hundreds place. So that means we leave that hundreds place alone. We're not gonna do any pink bubbles. And then we have a four, one, two, three, four, a four in the thousands place. So this number represents 4,076. Okay, so now we're gonna back up a little bit and we're gonna do it the opposite way, okay? So I'm gonna put a up a bunch of bubbles and you're gonna tell me what number it is, okay? So let's start with the ones. Okay, tens. Hundreds. Okay, this is my number. So I'm gonna show you how to do this first and then you're going to try it on your own. So again, I might wanna start in the ones place, right? So that's what I'm used to. So I'm gonna do four digits just so I'm making sure that I have all four. Okay, so in the ones we have one. Tens we have one, two, three, four, five. In the hundreds, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And in the thousands, we have one, two. So our answer is, or this number is, 2,851. Now scholars, I'm gonna try to trick you on this one. Now I know that third graders are really hard to trick. 
So, I bet I won't be able to, but I'm gonna try anyway, okay? Here we go. Scholars, go ahead, pause your device, and figure this out. What number did I just draw on my place value chart? All right, third graders, welcome back. I hope you had enough time to answer what, what number this is. Okay, so I'm going to start in the ones. So I have one, two, three, four ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens, and I have one, two, three thousands. 374, right? Wrong. Why is this wrong? Because that's right, because we have a one, two, three, a four digit number. This is only a three digit number, so let's erase that. So here we go. We have one, two, three, four ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. We have zero hundreds. You need to make sure that you write the digit zero if there are zero in the hundreds, okay? Or else you won't have a four digit number and your number will be incorrect. And then we have 3,000. So here we have 3,074 as our number. All right, scholars. I hope this little video helps you with your math work today, and I'll see you again tomorrow for lesson two. Have a great day, bye.